Is the moon really drifting away from Earth? If so, why? And should we be worried? Yes, yes it is. The beach, and probably not, maybe? It's complicated, we'll get to it. First off, yes, the moon is drifting away from Earth. Among the junk left behind by the Apollo missions are a number of range-finding mirrors. You can shoot a laser to the moon, time how long it takes to get a reflection back, and figure out the exact distance with high precision. This assumes you have a giant laser, equipment to measure the bounce back, are sufficiently nerdy, and have no social life distracting you from shooting lasers at random stuff in the sky. Scientists fitting that description have measured the distance over time and yes indeed the moon is drifting away from earth for something in orbit to go further out something has to speed it up but the moon doesn't have rockets strapped to it or anything so what's happening that's where the beach comes in put on some sunscreen pull up a giant novelty umbrella and watch the water notice throughout the day the tide comes in the tide goes out everybody is taught that the moon causes this so does the sun a little bit let's ignore that and circle back to the sun later the moon pulls on the side of the earth closest to it a little bit harder than the rest of the earth this pulls the water up a little bit giving you the tides. You may not know that it also pulls the land up. This is because the earth is more like a ball of syrup with a hard candy shell than a giant rock. This bulging of the land and sea doesn't point directly at the moon, however, because the earth is spinning much more quickly than the moon is orbiting. That bulge moves ahead of the moon just a little bit. So now the bulged part pulls the moon ahead just slightly, while the moon, closer to the bulge, pulls back on that just slightly. Over time, this causes the moon to speed up, pushing its orbit further out, and the earth to slow down in its spin. How much is this affecting us? Well, not a lot. The moon drifts away by about an inch and a half every year, a few centimeters, and the day only lengthens by a few microseconds. Since the moon is a quarter million miles away already, you're probably not going to notice a change over your lifetime. But what if scientists tomorrow came up with a cure for aging and you're now effectively immortal? Would Earth really be doomed if the moon just took off? Assuming it wouldn't loop back around eventually and Armageddon us all, uh, yes, we are still doomed. No more moon means no more werewolves, which is great and all, but there's a bigger problem. The Earth is already spinning at an angle and that crooked axis already wobbles. The stability it does have is because of the moon. Get rid of that and we could go all Uranus and tilt over. But will the moon ever go away? Well, probably not the way you think it will. This process would continue for about 50 billion years, at which point the spin of the Earth will slow down so much that it will become tidally locked to the moon. The moon will always see the same side of the Earth, just as the Earth currently only sees one side of the moon. At this point, the tidal bulge won't pull the moon faster and the process will stop. So no, the moon won't fly off into space, but it still won't be there anymore. Let's ignore for the moment that such a slow Earth day would fry half the planet while freezing the other half, thus killing us all. Take look at that number 50 billion years we don't have that long in 5 billion years the sun is going to exhaust enough hydrogen that it will swell into a red giant most likely consuming the earth and it's still outward drifting moon Everything we have ever built, everything said and done, everything that is our life on this planet will be melted away by the burning sun and the moon will, in fact, be gone forever. We will be powerless to stop it and all will perish in flame. So it's probably not the moon you have to worry about. Sweet dreams! Want to learn more about the terrifying sun? Click right there.